in today's session of Divorce Court. Marla Wall says her husband Frederick no longer satisfies her in the bedroom. The things you want me to do, I can't do. I'm, I'm tired. Honey, three minutes don't work always. You need ten sometimes. Is it too tired because of work or too tired yeah. because you've already no, worked somewhere thank else? Thank you. You got that right, Judge. If I had somebody else, I won't be with you at all. Snap, you ain't with me. <laughs> and a little time is not enough for you. Judge, will three minutes satisfy you? Can you even get started in three minutes? Now, don't you dare ask me what I can do in three minutes. She got a toy. Why don't she use it? Honey, and I did use it, and it was good. Me and that toy had fun. You hear me? Well, if that's a toy, then why is she complaining about what I don't do? Because Enjoy your toy. I didn't ask you for it. My three minutes and her toys, she should be happy. It's the case of Marla Walls versus Frederick Lee in today's session of Divorce Court. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Marla Walls versus Frederick Lee. Mrs. Walls, I'm advised that you've just been married for a year and a half. That's And correct. you're ready to end it. Yes, I am. So soon? Yes, so soon. Mr. Lee cheated on me. Oh, man, He used please. me get to from? get what he wanted to get from me. Yeah. And after he got what he wanted to get from me, out. he got him somebody else. What did That's he want to get from you? Well, he started off when he started. Well, he yeah. had no driver's license well, when yeah. he met me. Mr. Lee? And? He had no driver's license. And? I'm the one that paid for him to get his driver's license. Who fault is that? Once he got his truck, he didn't need me no more. To me. So he started Don't ripping and running the street the until he finally got him somebody else. So he yeah. didn't have a driver's license? Did that also mean he didn't have a truck? No, he didn't have no truck when I first met him. So I'm how did he the get the truck? That, I'm the one that paid for the driver's license. Oh, I'm the one man. that paid Look. the down payment for the truck. Well, what about you cheating on her? What, talk to me about that. That's the thing I'm trying to get to. Where did cheating come in at? Well, let me explain it to you. Please I can break do. it down Refresh for you real good. You can break it down, Mr. but you Lee never saw me cheating. used to work at night from 6 o'clock to do. 9 p.m. Then Mr. Lee started leaving the house oh, at man. 3 o'clock no, no, and coming garbage. home right, between 11 and 12 o'clock Hold on, Mrs. Walls, because I can't hear you over Mr. Lee. Let me hear, please. Now, I lost you on the last Mr. Sentence. Lee had a part-time job, working work. from 6 o'clock p.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. And then what happened? Then... Like three months ago, Mr. Lee started leaving at 3 o'clock p.m. and coming home at 11.30 p.m. So and his hours got extended, didn't it? When he showed me his paycheck, it wasn't no money there. So the money didn't oh, get extended, man. but the hours did. I am an accounting clerk. I know what I'm talking about. You well, think the you money know what wasn't there. About. So, Mr. Lee, did you get some additional hours? Yeah. Yeah, he on, got on additional job, hours you know, with the woman and stuff. on the job oh, that he please. was working with. I'm that nighttime supervisor, and I pull whatever hours I want. Liar. So, what hours did you do? Liar. Did you change your hours? He's a habitual liar. He's oh delusional. You can't believe nothing well, he say. Well, if he's delu delusional, I can't believe anything he say, and you can't believe anything he says. Why, Why did you, you think I'm was... ending the marriage? Why did you believe he was going to pay you back? Thank you. Yeah, but Why? that was in you 1996. That. that wasn't in 99. He was a different person uh, back then. Now, now it's a different person. When What's Mr. the Lee got, I don't see no when difference. When Mr. Lee got up on his feet, Mr. Lee had jobs that didn't pay much money. Mama, within the last, wait, 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 within just, oh, the last, Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee, be quiet for a minute. Within Mrs. the last Walls, year, be quiet for a minute. Let's get some order in here. What oh. happened between before and now? What happened between before and now was Mr. Lee used to didn't have a big income back then, so he was humble. He but treated Mr. Lee me still nice. Was working he on. did anything for me. Once Mr. Lee got a good job, making a little decent money, Mr. Lee he still didn't had need a job. me no more. Lee, I asked ask you, I ask he you didn't this need man. me anymore. So his, well, what did he start he doing is. towards you then? Well, he started running the streets. At first, I thought it was because he had a new truck and he was showing it off to his friends. He used to be at home on the weekends. We used to spend time together. Must be got a then lot of he friends. started running the streets. If he had to work on Saturday, when he come home on Saturday, he'd take a shower, get up and leave. I don't see him to 9 or 10 o'clock that night. He'd get up Sunday morning, oh, whatever man. time he wake up, whether it be this 9, 10, God. or 11, he get up, he take his shower, and he leave, and he don't come home. And this was going on for the last four months of our relationship. What about that, Mr. Lee? No, she's lying, man. Well, Got tell me lying. your side instead of just telling me she's lying. <laughs> that doesn't tell me anything. 
Oh, man. I, I, I really don't know where to begin because me, myself, I never change. I'm always the same. You well, know, then tell me about just, uh, What were you like before? What are you like now? What do you mean you never changed? You started running the streets. I never You wasn't running the streets back then. I wasn't running the streets then, and you I don't run the streets now. You started running the streets. I don't run the streets at all. You had to get you somebody. You got your truck for me. That satisfied you. And, and thank then you. you got you somebody else. Please. And you thought I was going to keep putting up if with I you. If I had somebody... So, so, Mr. Lee, did the wheels make you more mobile and you went to somebody thank else? Thank you. No, no. Look, Is I that what you? happened? It ain't got nothing to Thank do with it. The you. wheels me, don't have nothing well, to do with it, Well, explain it to me. Well, what, what happened? Are you with somebody else? <laughs> no. Yes, he is. No, I'm not. Unless she no, I'm not. Him? Day one, this woman always accused me of my ex and stuff. It's that not is, her, it's someone else. I don't care where we go. Okay, Mrs. Walls, always... let me hear his lie this yeah. time, all right? I don't care where yeah. we go. She always <laughs> accused me of someone. You know, I, we went to the store one day, and uh, it's like we go in, we come. Before we come out, a little lady passed by. She get mad at me for it because she said I was blushing at her. So she just thinks that you a ladies' man and always, you always flirting or always something? Always flirting. That's, that's, it's always on her mind. Everything I do is Your just... Your Honor, he's no. lying. Oh. Well, what about she said that before you were nice to her, now you're no longer nice? <laughs> How could I be nice to her? When I come home from work, the things she want me to do, I can't do. I'm, I'm tired. Like you know? what? But you ain't too tired to run the streets. Like what, Mr. Lee? What does she because want you to do that you can't do? Street. Mrs. Walls, let me get a question answered. What does she want you to do that you can't do? It's just little things. She say I can't perform in bed, and then if it's not that, it's got to be some other Well, garbage, honey, that's you know? not so my problem. Wait, you can't perform in bed. Thing, is it? It's a little thing to me because... Honey, <laughs> three minutes don't work always. You need ten sometimes. But if she ain't got it in two, I mean, then she won't get it in three. Hold, hold on, Mr. Walls. Mr. Lee, what do you say? The little thing she wants you to do is... Satisfy her in the bed, and you can't do that yeah. because you're too tired. I'd be too tired. What kind of work you do, Mr. Lee? <laughs> Is it too tired because of work or too tired yeah. because you've already no, worked somewhere? Thank else? you. You got that right. You got no, that no, right. No, no, that ain't how it goes. That's know. how it goes, George. You got no, that right. No. He's too tired. I do maintenance work and stuff, and by the time I come in, but it'd see, be like, like after, after he done did somebody else, he should go more than three minutes. If I had somebody else, I won't be with you at all. You ain't with me. Snap. You ain't with me. You ain't with me. So, Miss Walls, what you saying? When he came, when he did come home, he wasn't satisfying you sexually? I never asked him for any. He the one approached me. Well, that's he, the thing. She got, did, she got a no, toy. No, no. Why don't Listen, she use it? Honey, and I did use it, and it was good. And that's the truth. And she got a toy. Good. Why don't she use it? Hold on. And it was some good. Order. Mrs. Walls. But I don't do a toy. Mr. Should Lee, do. be quiet for a minute. And it was good. You better believe that. Well, me and that toy had fun. You hear me? Why that is you complaining gave, about what I don't do then? That toy gave me something. Well, if that's a toy, then why is you complaining about what I don't do? Because Enjoy your toy. I didn't ask you for it. You approached me. You can well, approach me, excuse me to have sex Hold and give me three minutes, and I'm supposed to be happy. When divorce court returns, the judge questions Frederick about spending nights away from home. And since you've gotten the truck, are you gone from home more than you were before you had it? Well, she she ran me away from home. That's no, she that's not what she's asking. She said, once you got the truck, did you start staying away from the house more? That's what she asked me. Yes. Yes. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Marla Walls, who says her husband Frederick has abandoned her sexually, and she can't take it anymore. So your husband approaches you to have sex, which is normal. Just letting her know I'm trying to put in a little time, that's all. Uh, yeah, you know? three minutes. <laughs> a little time. Just letting that's her know I'm, I'm trying saying. to put in a little time, a that's little all I could time. do. Time. And a little time is not enough for you. Well, but you should you be satisfied. Him. With three minutes? Well, look, you tell me what would have gone. Judge, will three minutes satisfy you? Can you even get started in three now, minutes? Now, don't you dare ask me what I can, can do in three minutes. Can you even get started? Joe, well, what I give I you in three minutes, minute. you can take your toy and do the rest. I think this is getting a little bit too personal here. <laughs> yeah, but that's how it goes. And I enjoyed my toy, honey. Well, that's it. I when I put my three minutes in, you just go ahead and do the rest with your toy. It's a shame when you got to get some more. I don't think it's a shame at all. And your man can't do it. So that's the problem. I don't think problem. it's a shame at all. No, that You're ain't using a, a toy and, and he's in... My three minutes in her toy, she should be happy. That's not the problem. The she problem be working is, then. The problem is everybody came before me. 
Anytime I asked Mr. Lee to do something for me, he did it when he got damn good and ready. Oh, watch your mouth. Sorry about that, Your Honor. Oh, but that's what don't it get was. that excited. He did it when he got ready. It depends on what like you want what? me to do. When it comes to that's me, I was I always last. Anybody can come knock on our door and say, say, Frederick, can you do this for me? He's gone. Just like that. Anybody can come to the door and ask him for a favor, and he does. Sometimes but you I wonder how could I, I do it and last. stuff. I, have, I hardly have any time to do anything. This well, was a long you did time ago. I'm not talking about lately. Now it's a long time ago. I'm talking about within it's... the last four months, that's when things changed, when you was always gone in the, last gone four in the months, street. What kind of time did I have? Is that when he got the new car? Thank the you. new truck? That's, he got the truck in March, and after March, he And I love it so much, I slept in it, because I didn't sleep in the house. Why That's you your problem. took the keys and everything else. So, uh, That's you know, your I want... problem. Now nah, it's my so problem. So who's paying for the truck? Me. And since you've gotten the truck, are you gone from home more than you were before you had it? Well, she she ran me away from home. She told me to get out. I got out. That's no, just she. What that's I did. not what she's asking. She said, once you got the truck, did you start staying away from the house more? That's what she asked me. Yes, yes. I guess that's I'm talking to two judges here. How do I, I, there's only one Whatever. judge, but there's a question of interpretation, and she's. She did a she damn good job at it. I think she yeah. just asked the question with a little bit more plain talk than I did. Yeah, a the question bit more is. Your wife is saying that once you got a new truck, uh -huh. you got so excited about the new truck, she no longer excited you and you were always gone. Well, at least it's not a toy. So you said it was better to be away from her in when the truck. I yeah, in some way, it was, was better gone. to be away. The truck he brought you more satisfaction than business. she did. Yeah. Still and her toy it. brought her more satisfaction right. than you so did. We should be even. She got a toy, I got my truck. No problem. Oh, we ain't right. even. We far from being even. So what else is there to do? There's the, there's the computer. The down payment for the truck was in exchange for a computer for me. And where's your and computer? My computer's in my house, but he told me that he wasn't going to pay for the computer no more. So the computer still has to be paid for. That's right. It's no problem with me paying for the computer, but all this other stuff she's talking about... What no. other stuff? Credit cards. Tell he me about that. He signed his name on the dotted line just like I did. And what but I never used a credit card. And you but have I outstanding things for you on the credit cards. Doesn't matter I whether you use and who, stuff. Who on the fault credit is cards. that? Excuse me, you Mr. Lee. You too. Who's so fault? So it's my fault. I'm the fool. No, for Mrs. doing Walls. it for you. No, no, no Ms. Walls. No, no. See all Mr. that fool and stuff. That's what I've been all this time. A fool. It's no fault. If you if you bought it during the marriage, mm -hmm. and she she did it for you, it's yeah. not a fault. All right. That's yeah. what happens in marriage. Yeah, it's so a that's fault. What, okay. When when okay. one person care and the other person done, yeah, it's a fault because no, I it's was not a fool. Because I was the fool. What's I'm the, the credit one card thing? I wonder which one of us care. We you both arguing care. over this thing, so who you don't care? care? I do care. What is the amount? I care about the bills. Mr. Ms. Walls, what's the amount of the credit card debts? Five. The the amount is yes. almost eight thousand dollars. Mr. Lee owes me exactly oh, well, that five thousand dollars. Do you have oh, a statement? Man. I have statements of everything. Joe, may I have that? How many things you want to give Joe? And here's also I think damages he went to the gym that this Mr. Morning. Wait a minute, Mr. Lee has called, and here's the other checks. And I'm not even mentioning the five hundred dollar loan I gave Mr. Lee. I still don't understand where that came in at. You know where it came in at. Don't play dumb. All right, let me look at this. So you have a statement of account. These are all these credit card bills. Not all of these are not it. credit card bills. Not all, all. Some of it is past bills that he owed me that he never paid me Did for. Did I owe you? So How could I pay you for something? I don't even know what you got on there. Did you know that she used the credit card to uh, buy things for me, you? Excuse me. I sent him certified letter. Everything that's on there, every invoice, I you sent it to his sent mother. You haven't sent me no. Certified. As far as credit cards, no. Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee, when you were married, mm -hmm. did you guys have a whole lot of money? <laughs> no. Did your wife ever use any credit cards to charge anything? Yeah. And I and always you, asked his Ms. permission. Ms. Walls. I'm talking to Mr. Lee. I'm talking now. And did you see her use these credit cards to charge things? I saw her use the credit cards a couple of times. All right. So you knew she had credit cards? I knew she had some You just were the cash man and she used credit. But, <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? No, no. What you telling me? It's not what I'm telling you. What you telling it's me? It's like, uh... <laughs> what you telling no me, Mr. Lee? It's not funny. It's not funny, it's not not funny but the thing is about, about, about the credit card. Miss, Miss Walls, you're talking That's to Mr. Right. Lee. Miss Walls. Remember that. All right. You ain't I, Mr. Lee. I've had uh, enough Lee? of the two of you bickering among yourselves. I'm asking you a question. Focus on me and answer my question. I don't care how much she opens her mouth, ignore it. And vice versa. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict. 
and an update on the case of Erica Washington versus Shandell Washington. He gave me an STD. I was six months pregnant. I was so afraid for the life of my child. They were saying the baby could die. Your wife is pregnant, and you're out having sex with somebody else unprotected. Divorce court is back, and the verdict is in. In the case of Marla Walls, who says her husband Frederick is more interested in his truck than having sex with her. You loaned him $500 and 95, he didn't pay you back. You loaned him $840 and 96, he didn't pay you back. And then you married him in 97. Is that what happened, Mrs. Walls? Well, because he did try and he was good to me back then. It was a different story back then. Once he put the ring and on she my said finger, I, wasn't I said good. I do. I don't he said I don't. Everything so that's changed. when things changed. Everything changed. What are these pictures for, Mrs. Walls? Damages that he's done to the house out of anger. What? Well, I see that there, this looks like plaster off the wall. That he called himself fixing it. What do you mean he called himself fixing it? That was oh plaster he put over the wall where he punched holes and stuff into the wall. Because if he would have punched me, he would have been in jail. So now you have to pay for this? The landlord yes, expects I, you to pay for it? I have, I know I yes, I have to pay well, for that. Well, he's no longer there. I have to pay for uh, the damage. Mr. Mr. Lee, do you remember putting holes no, in the wall? No, I don't. All right. Now, the credit card debts and obligations that were incurred during the marriage, you have not, you've given me a list, but you have not proved to me that they were incurred during the marriage. You have not proved to me that they're still outstanding. I out sent all the financial statements. Just let me finish. You have not proved to me that they're still outstanding, but here's the order. To the extent that the credit card obligations existed at the time of separation, and to the extent that you can show all of the, the charges on those cards I have the paperwork incurred with me. during the marriage between the date of marriage and the date of separation each of you is responsible for half the damages to the uh, the property that you lived in and rented the landlord is going to charge you and until the that issue is not before the court I don't know how much the damages are I don't know what it will take to repair it but I suggest to you that you go over there and get some paint and some what is called plaster, plaster. Yeah, or whatever I don't you need know to do. Is come in at because you need I to never do... heard of that. Okay, why don't you go? You still living there? Yes. Why don't you go look at the walls and right. see what the damage is? I don't want him there to do it. I don't have any proof. Somebody else the... can do it. No. Nope. Somebody else probably doing. He it. gets the he gets to know. You wasn't doing it. So all right, get your toy. Court's adjourned. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Erica Washington versus Shandell Washington. I will call there every five minutes and talk to your parents and tell them that you got a grown 24-year-old man there with three kids, a wife, 17-year-old, mind you, having a baby. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Erica said that Shandell's biggest mistake was he thought he could hide his cheating from her. He gave me an STD. I was six months pregnant. I was so afraid for the life of my child. They were saying the baby could die. Your wife is pregnant and you're out having sex with somebody else unprotected. And when she found out he was cheating with a teenager, she called the girl's parents. You called the woman's house and he was there? I said, can I speak to Shandell? She said, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he had another baby. 17-year-old, mind you, having a baby. I will call there every five minutes and talk to your parents and tell them that you got a grown 24-year-old man there with three kids, a wife. She was like, hold on, here he go. You're a pretty good detective, huh? Yes, Inspector Gadget. Erica said that she wanted Shandell to buy Christmas gifts for his children, and the judge ordered him to pay. Shandell refused to work out a parenting plan with Erica and says he will see his kids on his own terms. Erica has started a new job and has put her marriage to Shandell behind her. I think it was fair. Well, I guess I have to just chalk it up. What can I do? I think some of the things she, she was saying, she shouldn't even brought him up at all, because it was a bunch of bull. I'm just glad it's over with and I don't have to be around him anymore. <laughs> no, I'm going to just go along being the place that I am, just messing with females. 